Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Ostriv. At least I hope. I uh, went to load the game, and it wasn't there. So, so either I forgot to save, or something didn't happen. But um, this is the auto save, and it looks it looks right. We were just starting the harvest. I see we're just getting going here. We've got these buildings in around this the end of this pathway was starting to form. I see that's already faded away. Hmm, have to play with fences here. Um, what else? We... Trader. Okay. We had turned off the potatoes. This is looking right. Okay. We had this house built and we're working on that one and everything else is paused. So I'm going to say that we're good there. Now this one here... <clears throat> a lot of people are, are building that. But we do have a full queue over here. And over here. So I'm going to find out this time if these five can handle six fields in four months. That would be a good experiment. Um, now, the only note I've got down on my notepad for this episode is right here. I had forgot to take out one more. So one worker so is the experiment to maintain just two hay and two water. I'm not seeing a, a large amount of milk coming out of this. If I hardly ever see it at all. So I don't think that milk is really going to be a thing for now. Until maybe we've got several cow sheds around. Maybe this whole area is going to become a cattle ranch. I don't know. But um, I'm not seeing the need to have more than one worker right now. So we'll, we'll watch that through the winter and see if that's, if that's functional or not. Um, when we get more cows in there, then I would want a second. And if we get these things maxed out, I would probably want a third. But otherwise, I think we're fine. Um, these guys are doing this. I guess we just sit back and let it run. But make sure that I'm not missing anything. No lit up. Oh, there is a lit up city here. You guys, 10 more days have dried fish to sell. And we don't have the ability to do that. But we are waiting to see what's going to happen in regard to the flax hemp. Hemp that came in. And whether or not reserve point one hemp, whether or not Weaver's Workshop. Can I get a guy in here by chance? Probably. Oh, oh, I think Rod Rodon is a guy. Okay, which means he can go out and pick up a, a 1.0 instead of an 0.1. Okay, that'll get that brought over here that much sooner. And speaking of guys just came over Twitter today that I uh, believe the next patch, I don't know if I identified patch 4 or not, but definitely something that's coming into the game soon, is going to be the ability to choose whether you want to hire a male or female, and a male and female worker, and a male or female laborer, and then choose what you want to pay them based on 100%. If you want your laborers at the farm to be paid 120% to get them to come over here. Or if you want the the fishing dock to pay workers 120% to make sure this is always full. Which means we'll always have somebody making nails again. <laughs> now we do have a little bit in here. We're, we're, it's, it's getting there. Who is this right now? This is Boris. And Boris is hanging around. I appreciate that. All right. So with that then, are all the mysteries solved? Can I let this thing loose? I think so. I'm just going to sit back here. The uh, drone view. And watch. We've got five and five still. All right. We're plowing through the end of this and the start of this. Yeah, I haven't gone through and rearranged these yet. We have this one. Uh, harvesting. No. Uh, growth. Let's look at growth. <clears throat> Not too late on growth on that one. We got five eights on that one. Five eights. Five eights. Hey, this is looking good. A little more than half, so close to five eights. Yeah, this whole thing got about five eights on all of them. Um, this was more of an afterthought, so a little more than half. About five eights. Uh, right about half. And this one didn't get done. Okay. Hmm. And they were plowed too. Which tells me that is about the max we're ever going to get. Is right there. Interesting. So I don't know how to boost that growth beyond that. You know, maybe when the uh, the, the bioengineered seeds get invented in a couple hundred years, maybe that's what'll do it. But uh, so you, you you gotta you gotta run your your village for a while. 
to uh, to finally hit that level. But um, yeah, let's just sit back and watch a little bit here. Let's see what else is down in my notes. The only other thing I had: family's out of money. Whoa! Really? Ooh. You? Why? Negative. Interesting. Market stall and Weaver's Workshop. Okay. You got some good funds here. Interesting. And we've always had way too many jobs for everyone to, uh, to drop into, but that's actually the first time I've ever had that warning come up. So we'll have to keep an eye on the uh, Solimenko family. Now, out of money really means unable to buy more uh, unable to buy more food. They spent their money on luxury goods. I think that's what it is. That's why it just went out of me. I, I wish I knew how much these were selling for compared to these. So someone out, went off and bought 1.1 shoes. And it was exciting. And ran up the credit card. <laughs> and now they're in debt. By a lot. Yep, going into debt further. Even though they're working. Interesting. So, selling these to our own people. Hmm, maybe there's a problem with that. 26, 4. So they're going next, but they're not going for luxury goods. Uh, over here, negative 2, that's who we're looking at. So, 10. Would, do we need more jobs out here? Would that be beneficial? Hmm. Now, that was this house? Yeah. And the, the father went to work here and it was available okay hmm the other one's a market stall uh, what was her name uh, Zata Zlata works not there uh, no not here so which market stall is hers um now, I can't go to the house and click on anything, right? Not yet. Maybe eventually we'll have a uh, the ability to click here and find her. So, is she... I can't tell if that's a guy or a girl. I think it's a girl. <laughs> hmm. Now, I'm not even going to try that name. I, my, my, my lips don't work that way. Um, no... Okay, let's go back there. Market stall. Slata. Why am I not finding her? Not that one. Did I miss one of these? <clears throat> no. No. Market. Ah, right there. Okay, she's selling. Ah, that's the problem. She's selling the sunflower beef clothes and shoes, and she's she's getting all excited when she gets them, and she sells them to herself. Uh huh. Well, how do we fix that? She obviously cannot be running that market stall. She's she's running their household <laughs> into debt. Yeah, she's buying more shoes. Mm hmm. Okay, you're fired. You're here? No, you're here. You are fired. And you are rehired. There? That didn't work. You're rehired. How about over here? There you are. Alright, you guys go away and you're fired. Sorry. And you three were just an experiment okay so she's now working over here though it's about the furthest job away from her house and which is a problem for our cows yeah um i don't know what else i can do and then i need to hire somebody else for this and see if they run into the same problem of uh uh going into debt now you are there and find your home there and you are the male. You are the father. Okay. 
I don't need you to be running a market stall. So let's see what happens here. No. And speed up. There. There we go. That's Lata again. Okay, well, she's running uh, flour, potato, milk, and fish. Okay. And then who jumped into this one? We have two Zlatas. Ah, that's confusing. Now, what's your last name? You are the, ah, Soliminko family. You are the, that one. Now, who are you? You're Zlata Deresh. Where do you live? <laughs> you're over here. Okay, and you, you're the mayor's wife. No, you're not, but you're awfully rich. Mayor lives here? Mayor lives where? There's the mayor. Mayor Ostap. Okay. Anyway, now that you're not buying shoes, you're picking up water. It's negative seven debt. I think we're going to have somebody moving out soon. Somebody's, um, ha. Huh. Someone's got a secret spending problem because this is not repairing. It's going further. Why? How could that be? I don't know. I mean, we're not seeing purchases other than shoes. And she can't be buying shoes if she's working here. I can see her. How would it let her buy shoes if she is in debt? That's confusing. If that's the case, go out and buy food if you're in debt. So something is wrong here. Something is subtracting that should be adding. Like one of these jobs are taking away money instead of adding money or something like that. Something's not right there. So I think that might be might be a problem. How are we doing here? Hemp there, textile there. You are a tailor shop. You do have... 0.5 textile in place and leather 0.5 shoes all right we're gonna watch this this is Zvitana Zvitana hmm. and reserve so that's being picked up let's speed it up you are working all right 0.5 leather you know, quite a few of these shops I've seen that kind of die at, at the half of a of an item level, so that they just don't work anymore. Yeah, which tells me that you know get you out into the uh, out into other jobs. How many people are looking for work? Nobody. Okay. Um. So you're done. Do we still have flax coming? Oh, that's over here. Taylor. That's leather. This is textile, 0.5 textile. You guys, hemp, how much hemp is left over here? None. Boy, it looks like that industry has run out too. Okay, if that's the case, then we'll leave you employed because we're about to do something here. We're in October. We have this mostly taken care of. Hmm. Be nice to get some of that hemp in. Let's prioritize gathering for a little while. Run this up, see if we can get some of the hemp brought in. In fact, for that matter, I guess go ahead and drop in five laborers. This field only? Let's see. This one actually could use some work. We're, we're a little behind over here. Bigger fields, these are the original ones. All right, we'll do that as well. Ah, uh, to five. And you to three. Okay. Actually, it's bringing in right now. So let's go back to that. That's all I really needed. And then take you back to zero. Let you guys get the extra help and get that taken care of. Family is out of food. Yep. They're gone. It's still going negative, even though they're both working. We were shopping market stall. So something's just gone wrong there. I don't know how we can keep going negative. We're not buying anything. Unless that's rent. Maybe rent's involved there. But there's no recovering there. I'm 
For some reason, we just keep uh, subtracting, even though they have incomes. Weavers. Well, we've got hemp. Okay, we've got lots of hemp. Let's tailor. Taylor will open that back up. That she's working again. They have plenty. They're going to start making hemp. I'm curious to see once that begins. There, awaiting textile. Then are we? Ah, oh, we're going back up. We're out of food, so it's not going to maintain. I think it's, it's too far down to uh, to come back. I think we get to the end of the next uh, month or what a week or whatever. You know, is happening in the background here. It's going to reevaluate it and say they're they're hungry, so they're going to have to leave. Anyway, this is almost done. Then they'll start bringing all that in. How are we over here? Now, the growth doesn't seem to continue after the ripeness begins, which I feel like that's a problem. The growth should continue until it's harvested. Now, even in August and September, your garden is still growing and ripening at the same time. But maybe growth means something different. Maybe it's a quantity thing. You know, so many zucchinis on the plant, and then you got to let them ripen. I don't know. Okay, so five. I expect this one, this one to move out. I don't see that recovering. But maybe we'll just leave it on the screen there while we're thinking about it. Now, there's nothing else going on here. Potatoes for the whole town now at 1.1. I guess it's a matter of seeing what comes out of here. But I would say the first 10 could very well be dumped into here. I think that's a thing. Um, 10 or more. We'll start with 10. What else can go into here? We can sell shoes. Though... There are no shoes right now, but we can sell them, right? There was one. Shoes. We have none in stock, so I can't even choose them. Okay. What else can we put in here that is called for? Sunflower oil is already in. That's all that I am aware of. Shoes. And then the stuff we don't want to sell, like wheat and sunflowers. Okay. We're done here. So these guys are now bringing it all in. These guys were in November. And we've got quite a few people working here. Oh, prioritized gathering was on. Did did I didn't do that this time, did I? I did the one over here this time. Well, glad I noticed that. Now we can get this thing done in time. Yeah, that wasn't an issue. But now I guess we can go ahead and fire this one up. Put a worker in there. Those are haul let's put two workers in there. One to haul, one to work. And with two workers, we don't need labor by cart, and it's not. Okay. Okay. So, start hauling things into there. You guys have got this under control. Um, we really don't need these guys in here anymore. Those five have got it under control. Over here, same thing. Once this is all brought in, I'll take that down. Then we'll evaluate who's employed and who's not, and, and what have you. But over here... Plenty of wood, plenty of firewood, but do need to go get some more logs. So we'll leave them employed well into the winter. Down here, we could take you guys up to five, and we could release these buildings, since the critical part is done with the harvest. So continue, you, click, click, that one. Yeah, we'll do them all. And we'll even get this guy going, the town hall. Okay. So, well, until this is all brought in, I really can't evaluate the town in general, but so far, to say two-thirds of the potatoes are in. Well, potato harvest, there's 9.21 out in the field. Is that what that means? You know, the last time there was only 0.76 of something in the field, they hadn't finished harvesting it. There were just two little buckets, two or three buckets right there. So that could be the 0.76, and the other five was still in, in there to be picked. So I get the sense... Potato harvest. Family's out of money. All right, potato harvest, 9.21. Let's slow down. Potato is 9. And how much has also been brought into here already? Um, there's already 8 in there, so there were 17. Oh, I didn't click it. 
who is out of money? You have come back? Look at that. No, that's not the same family. Did they leave? I don't remember seeing if anything that says moving out. You, that's not the same name. Speaking of name, there's Ratslav. 16 now. Okay, well, apparently it is a one for one. The Ribnik family. Let's try to remember that. We'll see if there another one shows up. But who is in debt now? Who is in trouble? Five. You are pretty much right on the cusp. Okay, you're unemployed. You're bringing lots of stuff in, which is throwing you into further debt. Uh, sunflower oil. Waiting for potatoes. Okay. And the potatoes are, are important. That's your food. 0.22, negative, family out of money. It's this area right here. Okay. We're at two. Let's go to two. And I didn't miss any calls for trades. No. So let's look through the houses. Wages in general. 98, 48, 51, 81, 28, 56, 59, 43, 21, 77, 37. Over here, 46, 47, 52, 67, and 48. 16, 20. Down this run, 0.1, 2.8, 10, 9, 8, or 8, 9, 5, and 24. Over here, 20, and you just got here. Okay. Hmm. Everything's in? Everything's in. And most everything is in over here. Right now, unemployed, three women. Okay. In that case, we'll go ahead and put two back into here. And hemp right now is at... 1.25. Really? That much has been brought over here? No. What? Reserved hemp 0.2. Hemp 1.05. It can't be stored anywhere else. There's no hemp over there. The only hemp can go right here. 1.25. Have they processed that much hemp? It feels like hemp just went through a black hole. Hemp 1.05. How do we burn through that much? Three fields? Two fields worth? Just like that. Family out of money. That one. Okay. Cow shed. She was unemployed and I opened that up and she grabbed it, so that's good. Farm. Oh, right here. I'm going to let you guys go right now. Um, man, I'm going to let you guys go right now. Interesting. We're in January. Let's slow down for a moment. Let's look at our budget. All right. Local sales. Last time it was 700 and something. We jumped up to over 1,000. I believe that has a lot to do with the, uh, the shoes and clothes. And, well, not much sun for oil this time. So those luxury goods really ramp up, but that also takes money away from uh, their personal households. So budget-wise, we basically broke even. We imported 50, we sold 120, so 70. So we were almost there. Hmm. So this year, with the increased local sales, assuming we can keep these guys afloat, you know, keep them employed, then we should be seeing a pretty well-balanced budget in the town. So how do we keep them employed? What is there to do long-term? Cattle is long-term and year-round. But what else is? Everything else depends on the crops, right? What else is there for them to do? Forestry? That would keep them employed, but we'd eventually run out of wood. 
I mean, run out of uses for the wood. We keep expanding, keep getting more people, we got to keep getting more jobs. So how do we deal with that? Windmill, um, show me wheat, 12. So I can get another person employed here. There's a start. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I don't see flour. Where's flour listed at? I don't know if I've ever seen it in here. Let's go, well, first of all, here. Got lots of wheat, got no flour. Over here, flour's not there. Hmm. Maybe another farm is the answer. Cathar was joking about that. And I'm thinking, yeah, 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 but okay. We've we, we got lots of food coming in here now, and we have this industry going, and we don't need a third farm. But you know what? I'm starting to question that. Be another round of jobs, but it would also be another round of supplies to keep these jobs occupied well through the winter. Mm hmm. <clears throat> All right. How do we get him out here? Where do we put it? We know how to put it now. I, I like that design. That's looking good. But I need another farm that deals probably with a lot more wheat and more hemp. We have lots of potatoes now. Hmm. Maybe three fields of the four basics. The wheat, potato, hemp, and fallow. And then three to deal with hemps and wheats or something. This is always a, a boost somewhere. I get another windmill over here. Now this windmill doesn't really work here anymore, does it? They gotta go find their wheat. Yeah, that's interesting. So we need to relocate the windmill. And then when we do that, we can maybe put this field back in here. All right, let's put together a farm just for wheat and potatoes and another farm just for hemp. I don't know, what's the long-term goal of this place? Interesting, maybe we are gonna have to specialize our farms. Straight off from here, Kind of wish I hadn't put that building there now. I would like a main thoroughfare that comes right on through and then turns in. Hmm, I like the way that, that sounds. Well, I guess we'll turn here. Let's sculpt the roads a little bit here. You are... You are the weaver's shop. Now, first of all, I haven't fired anybody. Wages... Right here... Wages. I wish I could see the previous year. I wish I hadn't rolled over to January yet. Okay, wages are an expense. Right here, salaries. So, over 1100 I don't know what the previous year was. Hmm. And I'm sure it wasn't near this much because I would ne normally never have kept this occupied. Who is the father here that needs desperately needs his income? So, we're looking at um, Michaelio. Michaelo. Okay. Let's make sure that Michaelo stays employed. Everybody else is sitting pretty good uh, incomes. Except for this one house here. Yeah, this is a trouble spot too. <laughs> Fishing dock. So, hmm. Hoi. Yeah, okay. Um, the H guy. Alright, you... No. Right there. So if I were to take you down, leave you, and do that. Okay, that'll keep you employed for the winter and keep your income coming in. Otherwise, everybody else is sitting at well over 10. With the exception, maybe, of these two that just moved in. 21 and 7. So laborer, construction, and unemployed. So you guys are going to be in trouble here. Um, you are Zoriana, uh, Zoriana, I'll call it, yeah, I'll, I'll say that's about, that's pretty close. So if I were to turn this on until Varvara, nope, until you popped in, just to give you employment. Yeah, we could be uh, rolling the dice here for a while. Are you... 
employable. You do have a one-year-old son. That might have something to do with it there. Now, Alexander. Make sure if you pop in here that I leave you in there instead. Anyway, yeah, we'll have to do a little bit of micromanaging here to get them through the winter. You're doing better, though. Four. This one is is barely making it, but it is they are making it. Okay. We'll come back to this in a little bit. All right, now. I want to send a road. How? Kind of hard to see in the snow. We ran over here, went down. Yeah, maybe turn like, I'll turn at the well. Okay. Just to make it look interesting. So if we were to run a fence, uh, let's see here. What kind of fence? It doesn't have to be this one. Yeah, let's go with that third choice. Let's see. Not the three wheel, we'll do the split, split rail. Okay, and run from here. Let's leave a space to walk into the well. Uh, I wanna turn at the well. So we're gonna go from about here over to here. Now, is that straight? I'm thinking of the, we get to where my perspective doesn't change on me. All right, something like that. Well, the shadows just throw me off. I think that looks pretty good. It, what's throwing me off is that the road gets skinny right here. And so when I head to this corner, it looks like it's crooked, but I think it's straight. I think it's an optical illusion. All right, so we're going to do that. The road's going to come down and go over. And I want this fence right here here to connect and go out until what would be the corner of that road about like that and that would get them to stop turning you know cutting this corner here but actually make them walk all the way over all the way over here then turn all the way into here in fact let's go ahead and throw a uh, a turn right here just for a little while uh, split rail snap that corner and head this direction Okay, well that will shape that road heading that direction. Now, let's go ahead and set up another farm complex out here. Um, these houses are going in, and I want to see if it's possible to get this done even this spring. So, I'm, yeah, I'm going to keep it... Uh, let's go ahead and pause it. Let's lock this thing down. Let's put this in. And then we'll see if we can shut all these down and get everyone out here working. If it's possible to get a third farm going this next year. Might not be. Two months might not be enough time to, to get a farm building built, but we'll find out. All right. Farm. And entrance probably best to be just like so. Okay. Parallel to what? Uh, get it straight with my monitor, about like that. All right. How best to do that? That cone makes it kind of hard there at the entrance. That doesn't quite feel right. But maybe as close as I'm going to get. Okay. You're right there. And... The fields are about... These fields, at least, are about the width of the farm. These are stubbier because they got to create a roadway that goes around both sides. But these are about that same width. Okay. So in that case, we're going to come out of here. There. I think a row of houses here. In fact, let's... Hmm. If I clicked a house, what orientation would it be? Oh, it's the right one. Okay. In that case, if we were to... We could kind of get away with that. I like that. Yeah, there. I can't do this one, though. So I'm only going to get this. All right, let's lock that one in. You go in. And you go in. And eventually, we'll do two houses in here and take that fence back down. All right, so that's there. Then go back to the farm. 
So we'll have a field approximately that wide, which means the farm is somewhere out in here. So somewhere in there. Let's see, I'm going to do that again, but this time like this. Okay. So the field is roughly that big, so the farm's roughly here. Down a little bit more to put a road between the field and those, uh, those houses over there. So about like this. And what looks straight? Hmm. Alright, that mound right there. Okay, mound right there. Straight up, I clicked. <laughs> but a quick glimpse, I think it landed right about there. Ah, no, I wanna I wanna do it right. Let's do that again. Farm right there. Should be the same orientation. There's my little hills. And just as I got to here, my finger twitched. Actually, if we follow this little stub of a fence right here, it's aiming clear down over here. Okay, my little stubby hills right there. I'm going to go for somewhere like that. Alright, so you are the project right now. Everything else shuts down. Where are we here? Awaiting 10 wood. Do we have wood? We had 200 a little while ago. Uh, still 199, okay. Logs 3, so they're still bringing logs in. Okay. Are you guys still employed where you're supposed to be? Are you still fishing? You're farming. And you're fishing. Good. So you guys didn't mess up my plan there. 3.7 and 0.8. So you're still floating. Okay. So that's going to roll into here. Then let's lay out the farms. We'll, we'll steal these pastures here, these fields. All right, so road. Actually, let's lay out a road. Uh, that probably, that's probably how I should have done it to begin with. Road. We're grabbing the split three rail. Snap to there, and you should. You, you're not snapping for me. No, there's no sense of a stopping point. Hmm. Well, I guess you're something like that. <laughs> Yep, yeah, okay. So grab the field and so right above there is the other part of the road. You're going to be something like this and the f door is to the road itself. So you go this direction. About the width of the farm. So looking over here, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Something like that, although we're hitting the houses over there. So we're not going to have quite the walkway that I thought we were going to have. Is that important? Probably not. We could do something like that. So 15 is what we're using on the other ones. Yeah. And now that I see this, it looks like this farm is going to be a little crooked. Which is what we found over here too, so that's why I'm still paused. So that I could delete this and twist it a little bit, which is what we did there, and it really made it look better. All right, you're going to be there. Um, you, which I can never get from this angle. Oh, I had you there. Oh, I see. I have to click the fence post. Maybe that's it. It won't. It needs to click on. Oh, and I need to unpause. There we go. All right. So from there, let's grab another farm field and something like. No. Let's grab this corner. Now this one does snap. Okay. Right there. Let's right click and left click there. There we go. You're going to go to about like so. Now if I take it this way, I can see if I'm parallel with it and I am. Okay. Take you about to 50. Occupied. Okay, then let's right click and right there. Let's zoom in just a little bit. Right there. Right click, left click. Now we're still pretty close, okay? And we're still just barely touching. Right click, right there. Right click, left click. <laughs> okay, how are we now? 
We're off a tiny little bit, but I'm gonna call that good. Just get out to 15 and click. Whew. Okay, there's that. Now, this farm, next field, and the order that I'm putting these in is the order that they're going to uh, uh, be... Well, no, I take that back. When we associate them with this, we'll associate them in the right order. Okay, so you're going to go there, and you're not really in the right place. We must have gone to the, yeah, one and a half fence post. Okay, so right-click and put you in there. All right, that works. A little bit past. So... Yeah, something like that. Take you out to about 15. About there. And... Same thing. One and a half? No. Whole different count. Okay. You hit the post and went one and a half past. You're hitting the half, so we're going to go one post past. Alright. Now, how do we tell if we're parallel and the same width up there. I'm going to make a guess of that and I'm going to shoot up in here for a little bit. Need to go more like right there. That's good. Good enough. And we're working there. Now this one's going to be a little bit big. It just It's going to look weird to end right there. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do that. Okay. All right, two more, and we'll see how we're looking here. Actually, we're looking fairly good. We're a little bit off, but not much. This one feels like it's off. Hmm. Oh, well. I don't think they had surveyors so much back then. Well, I guess they kind of did. There was a lot of mapping going on. So they had some uh, um, equipment to handle, something like that. What do you want to do here? Does it really matter? What did we do here? We did run it straight through. Okay. Then, how do we find that spot? Getting a little laggy here. You look like something like that. Hmm. All right, we snap here. Something like that. Right click, left click. All right, over here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. You're kind of like that. Take you down. No. Right, left. Okay. 16. I'll take it. And then you start. Oh, there you are. Right there? Let's try it. Yeah, oh, we're too close. Okay, that looks good there. Not here, though. Okay. Decent. Decent enough. Though we are taking it Back down to the 15 mark, though. We're a little wide on these two, so 16 has become the norm over here. All right, well, there's a farm. And that does look decent. I think as decent as we're going to get, considering we are kind of wobbly over here. All right, so with that, then, this is the next priority. This, I think, gets shut down. No, we'll let it, we'll let it finish. Pause you. Pause all of you. They want so badly to get their town hall built. And I keep uh, shutting them down on that. Come on. Third try. Pause. All right. I want you guys to build this. Are you going to do it? I want it in in the next six weeks. Can you handle it? Probably not. But let's try anyway. Hmm... So how do we promote that? I mean, we've got the beginning of our workforce starting. Messenger from Mara, Marefa, Marefa. There we go. Starting to work. I want to go to that message. Just want to check a few things out, though. You, I could kind of send into there, but 
then it's off and off work, off and on work. Okay, message from here. You, hemp and wheat, sunflower oil. I don't know. Take you down to one. I did employ you again, right? I did. Sunflower oil four. You have got. I've not been calling for any. Ah, let's get this coming. Ten. Hmm. How soon can we pull this off? You are no longer employed. Yeah. Okay. Well, two. And you are grabbing two. And waiting to work. It looks like we could have six available in here. You have got three in there. I could shut that down and I could ramp this up and probably pull nine out of this thing. What if we were to do an order of uh, four deal, another order of four deal, oh, 22 more days. Can I cancel any of these? I cannot. Okay. Then I thought I saw I saw 18. I thought we had already gone through the countdown. 21 days, so first week of February. Then we'll reevaluate. So we have eight committed. Let's see if, how quickly we can get eight over here. Ah, uh, there's four of ten already. Let's take this up to more like 16. Now sunflower was out of here. How much is still floating around? 38. Yeah, we're, we're going to go for a while. We're good. It's 2 to 1. So we're going to have uh, 60, 70, 76? 76 more? I think that's what that is. On top of whatever's out there already. So that's going to be a major uh, staple for us this year. Okay, you guys are bringing in. You've got lots of workers heading out there. This might happen. And you saw we filled up five and five and still had five laborers and four laborers at one point. So there should be should be easy to get five permanent employees in all three of these this next time. So hopefully that works out. Um, speed back up. Keep an eye on first week of February. And got three out of four over here. They are bringing stuff over as fast as they can find it, which right there they're bringing it in and we're out okay so I'll take you down by one that's all we're gonna get out of you guys for a while but there's six uh, 18 days so we'll definitely get two more by then now over here five sunflower but I can't get anybody to work here ah uh, that's a problem okay can't get any well there's one I just need you to make two more to satisfy the uh, um, the, the current orders. We need eight. We have six. Okay. Can you do it? It's Yaveni! Hey! Yaveni, you can do it. I know you can. If you can make a game like this, you can, you can pull off some sunflower oil. <laughs> Alright. How are we doing here? We are working like crazy. We're halfway done. We're still in January. They're going to pull it off. Aha! Uh -huh. Great. Oh, looking over my timer. Ah, I've spent 45 or so minutes talking. Yeah, maybe we'll go a little bit long. I want to see, uh, at least want to see that made, you know, that that completed. But maybe next time we'll set all the fields and get all that, that going. But yeah, I think a third, maybe even a fourth farm is what it's going to take to keep everybody employed and working. We've got to have a tremendous amount of product rolling in so we can be doing something with it and over here how are we doing current cows four we had five what did we lose current over here that's not it well that scared me uh five over here so we've got a two-year-old bowl we have a lot of bowls over here over where is that here we have one bowl, one year. Okay, what was that? That was a house over there. Let's move one of these bowls, a two-year-old. Let's do another one-year-old bowl to this one. 
Now, are you going to physically go get him and bring him in? That looks promising. No. You're going to head all the way over there. Okay. Waiting to see if they actually transport them or if it just moves over and counts. Uh, two bowls. It just moved over and counted. Okay. No, nope, didn't yet. Hmm. Uh, beginning of February, slow back down. And let's at least get this trade figured out. You are almost here. We need eight when you arrive. We have 11. Okay, so we can do three more. Now, when does this deal end? We still have four more days. Okay. Um, what can we have by then? Let's think of it that way. We have still got three in there. There's two oil ready to be picked up. We're waiting another one. There's two workers. I think we can pull off another order of four. So four, four, and four. We can definitely pull off that one. And then maybe another order of four after that. Let's give that a try. So sunflower oil, let's do another four. And we'll wait for three more days and do another four. We'll just kind of stage this in that way. If something fails, the others will not have failed. All right, slow down. We are at two more days. Let's, will this go real time? I don't think it does. I think I have to click again. Oh, it does real time. Okay. And, all right, we're, we're running slow. 14. So we've got, what? 12 committed. There's, boy. Let's do two more then. Uh, here. So sunflower oil. Let's do another four. And we will do yet another four. Nothing we want from them. We are out of hemp. We are. We are selling these for ten. And hemp we can buy for ten. Do we swap out one for some more hemp? I think so. Just to give them something to do for a while. They'll make clothes. They'll sell clothes to each other. I just wish that the richer ones would do all the buying of the clothes. And uh, take some of that wealth from their, their homes back into our, our town budget. Um, eight. Bye. Okay. We're basically done now. Alright. So we did a total of four or five deals of four and we're going to cancel out two of them with hemp now we have someone working here yes and let's just kick that up a bit you guys have got oil of five okay let's kick that up even more i need this stuff picked up now okay pick it up so he can keep going all right with that i think i am going to call this one done we're definitely going way long in this episode so next time we'll get that farm completed we're close. Where are we? Right in here. We're, we're putting in the... What's clay over here? The walls are clay. Okay, putting in the clay of the walls. So, yeah, this should be up and running by the end of February. And then we'll get three farms going next episode. So, with that, this has been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.